Hey guys! So I thought it would be fun to do a tag that I'd kind of been wanting to do. I'd seen it here on YouTube, so I know it's kind of been going around. Shoeaholic tag. I definitely am a shoeaholic. I get little gifts like this, the you know, sticky note pad that has heels on it. For Valentine's Day, I got a tape dispenser that was in the shape of a high heel shoe, so definitely shoes are probably one of my biggest buys that I do. So there are 14 questions um, and I just thought it'd be kind of fun to do and so to kind of kick it off I am going to start by showing you the heels I wore today. These are the pair that I wore today. Question one is heels or flats? I am definitely a heels kind of girl especially the high heels. I don't I don't know if I really like the flats. I like sneakers, but I don't consider like sneakers flats. They're sneakers. Um, but like the little ballerina flats and those little slip-ons, I don't like as much and I actually don't own any. Every time I put a pair on, my feet just look huge in them, so I kind of avoid wearing them. What are my go-to shoes? It depends on what what mood I'm in, but lately they've been um, my knee-high boots. I showed them in my kind of February slash catch-up video, um, tan boots that go over the knee and they lace in the back and they're a flat heel, uh, but those lately have been my go-to shoe. What is my favorite shoe trend at the moment? Hmm. I think the bright colors, I would have to say. Um, I've got a few different pairs in my collection of bright colors. A pair of like the neon yellow and some that have that color blocking in it. So probably the bright colors or some of that color blocking is probably my, my favorite trend at the moment. The least favorite shoe trend that is easily hands down um, the Crocs or the like Birkenstocks with socks. I just really, really hate those shoes with like a fiery passion of a thousand suns. Uh, I don't care how comfortable anyone claims they are, they are just hideous and ugly and no, just no. What is my most expensive shoe? <sighs> well, I constantly say that I am one of those kind of frugal shoppers, the cheap. <laughs> I don't want to call myself cheap, but a very cost-effective shopper. So a lot of my shoes I do get on sale or clearance, and I am not ashamed of that fact. I mean, why spend a whole lot of money when I've got other things I need to take care of? And probably my most expensive pair of shoes is actually a pair of boots and it is a pair of Doc Martens. Those are like the first ones I can remember buying myself so those are probably my most expensive pair and they happen to be purple. What are my most wanted pair? Hands down I would love, love to own a pair of Louis Vuittons. Uh, so that I think is almost every girl's shoeaholic dream is, is to own a pair of those red bottom pumps. What is my most embarrassing shoe story? Probably the time that I was walking in a really high pair of heels and I was walking down one of those handicap ramps to, from a sidewalk to um, the parking lot and somehow I misstepped and I kind of flipped, <laughs> flipped over and I landed like on my back in a handicap parking spot from that when I was walking with a group of other people so that's probably my most embarrassing shoe story. Pick a shoe and share a story. Hmm. It's kind of hard to do. I've just got so many shoes and I don't know if I've got so many shoe related stories. I already said that I they're my most expensive shoe but these are my purple Doc Martens that I got in high school. My shoe story that goes along with these is I actually wore those shoes 
uh, to a Nine Inch Nails concert down in San Diego, a really small kind of venue. I was able to get up really close up front and those were probably like the best shoes to be wearing in that kind of a situation because it was a standing room, room only event. So um, there was only about a thousand people in and the concert did sell out, but like people kind of stomping on your foot or like the pits getting crazy. So they really saved my, my feet there. But probably I remember this experience the best because um, I have like a huge crush on Trent Reznor and he actually dove off the stage into the section of crowd that I was in. So I got to, you know, touch Trent Reznor and for me that was like, yay! Um, so that's probably my best shoe story. I know they're a big kind of clunky boot, um, but I do love those those boots and they do have a lot of history with them since I have owned them since high school. Next question is how many pairs of shoes do I own? I own a lot. <laughs> I own a lot of shoes. Like it's ridiculous almost the amount of shoes that I own. Um, and I've got them kind of broken down in groups. I own 38 pairs of Vans alone about 75 other shoes additional to those 38 um, and 15 of them are boots the four of them are um, like flip-flops or sandals the rest are all like heels or wedges and yes <laughs> I do have a lot of shoes I have uh, I took a bookcase and made it into a shoe rack instead and it fits like 22 pairs on that and that's just heels and so I <laughs> see shoe haul like right there um the fact that I own like well over a hundred pairs of shoes and so that is kind of you know yes over the years I've spent money in shoes but I've always got them at really good deals so for me I'm not really ashamed of how many shoes that I buy. Yes, I can't wear them like all the time, but hey, it's what I love. Number 10 is when was the first time I wore heels? Probably when I was, you know, younger. I used to wear really high, high heels, but you know, going to church every Sunday and kind of growing up in that culture, it was just very natural to have Sunday shoes and stuff. And you know, when you're a little girl, it's just those little petite heels. As you grow into teenage and stuff, you start to get higher and higher heels. You kind of start challenging what you can do. How much do I spend on shoes? Well, over the years, I've, I guess I've spent a lot. Relatively um, inexpensive shoe buying habit. <laughs> like I said, I really love to buy my shoes on sale or clearance or on a good deal. So, um, like my shoes will range anywhere from 10 to 25, 30 dollars. Number 12 is where are my favorite places to buy shoes? My favorite place to buy shoes is Charlotte Russe um, because they do stay pretty, pretty trendy, but they also get some of the best deals. I like going there because I'm able to find stuff that's trendy in my size so for a very reasonable price and they usually have some kind of sale going on. Uh, just the other day I went in and bought some kind of for springy spring and, and summer coming up. I just bought two pairs uh, but they were both on sale for $9.99. I did buy them both so I got this really cute kind of nautical wood heel that has a little lash over the top and a peep toe and then a peep toe wedge. Number 13 is, do you have a pair of shoes you regret purchasing? Probably. Number 14 is, show your favorite pair of shoes. I've got so many pairs of shoes that I don't know if I've got like a favorite. Um, if 
for work and stuff, I can't wear my heels. Um, so those happen on the weekends and when going out and, and any time not working. Um, when I work, I, I wear just a pair of my, my Vans. Usually that's a black one. I've worn them so much, they're actually like starting to fall apart, so I do have to get a new pair. I've got a pair of Vans sandals, and they are probably like some of the most comfortable flip-flops that I own. These would probably be um, one of my favorites. They're this just kind of really bright electric blue, and I love this color blue, so um, it makes it one of my favorites. And, and obviously the boots that I showed before, those are currently one of my favorite pairs of shoes. So if you are a shoeaholic like me, please feel free to tag yourself in this and do it and uh, share a comment or a video link and um, so I can check out your shoe stories and collections and yeah, I just wanted to do this tag and kind of have fun and talk about shoes since I love them. Um, but I'm also considering maybe doing down the line a little giveaway and I actually am considering doing a giveaway for this necklace here. It's a little little moustache. <laughs> so I may be doing a video later that I'm giving this away. So thanks for watching and I hope you had fun. Bye.